Hello everybody, it's Xbox Gamer Dad White here. And today we're going to talk about the custom uh, background on your Xbox. So, have you ever wanted to put something other than your gameplay on your, on your background screen as a custom image? Well, you can do that. You have that favorite picture on your phone or on your computer or something that you want to get to the Xbox. It's fairly simple. It takes two applications loaded on your Xbox. And we'll take a look at that real quick. So the two applications you need will be OneDrive and an application called Microsoft Photos. You need both of those to, to put cost, custom photos on your background. OneDrive is used to get the image from an external source to the Xbox and Photos actually reads OneDrive and looks for all the images. Um, and it's a real simple two-step process. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, I'm not going to explain how to get the images off your laptop or off your phone onto OneDrive. There's a lot of videos out there. I'm just going to do the Xbox side of things. So first thing you want to do is go out to the store and find OneDrive and Photo. Um, we'll, I'll search for Photos so you can see what it looks like. OneDrive is pretty simple. So we'll go out here and we'll search for Photos. Yeah, but mine's already installed, but I'm just going to do this real quick. There we go. So you're going to look for Microsoft Photos. You see I already own it and it's already installed. The next thing you're going to want to do is launch them for the first time. So we'll go ahead. I freshly installed these so we can walk through the launching process. So we're going to launch OneDrive first. Fairly simple. goes out, logs you into your OneDrive account, and starts loading everything up. And it takes a few minutes if you haven't done this the very first time, so this is why I want to walk through this. Just going to hit Next and start using OneDrive. Now, you can see off to the side here are, are uh, My Files, Photos, things like that. So in My Files, I created a folder called custom backgrounds. And I'm going to pick one of these two backgrounds for mine uh, to put on the on my background. Now the next one we want to make sure we launch is Microsoft Photos. So that way it builds up a uh, inventory of all your photos. Okay, so at this point we've launched Microsoft uh, Photos and Right now, there's nothing in the collection. What it's got to do is got to go out and actually read OneDrive. It's going out and reading uh, the Xbox and looking for content. So in here, oh, it just finished reading OneDrive. I was going to say in here, in the folder option, you, you'll see it hasn't. There's no OneDrive, but now it's done. So it's pretty quick. It, I don't have a lot of content. So we can actually go into OneDrive and we can actually scroll through and find my folders that I had. So now that OneDrive has been read by Photos, we can actually use it. So let's go ahead and um, install a custom image to our background. So we're going to go to Settings. We're going to go to General, Personalization, and we're going to go to My Background. And we're going to go down to Custom Image. And wait for it to load up. So, right now the default setting is to read the Xbox. And to open up another app, which will be Microsoft Photo, you have to go up to the Open on top. But right now you can't get up there until you hit the two little squares on your controller. And here it jumped me down to Cancel, so we're going to jump up to the selector up in the top left corner. 
and it's either File Explorer or Photos. So Fire, File Explorer is only going to read the console. So we're going to jump down to Photos. And we've got the collection by default. You can see we're navigating. we got Albums and Folders. So we're going to pick this by Folders. So we're going to come down to OneDrive. And I'm looking for my photo right here of Xbox Custom Backgrounds. And I have these two. Picture of the little uh, hawk. And this picture of a stream in the moon and bells in Colorado. So we are going to go ahead and pick the picture of the stream. So you select it, and it will back out, go to our home, and there it is. That's how simple it is to get a custom background on your Xbox. Real simple. Two programs, real easy steps to do. So now that you've done this, it's just a matter of putting photos that you want in your OneDrive folder somewhere and just coming over and changing it when you're ready. So I hope this helps you. Everybody have fun. Good luck. Look me up and hit me up if you want to play some games. Uh, see you next time. Thanks.